All right, it is time to go for the first group final of the Ultimate Pool Pro Cup 2023. Cam Singleton breaking off and joined in the commentary box by John Rowe. Here's Simon Webb. Yeah, first group final of the Pro Cup, as Stephen just said. And it's an absolute cracker. Cam Singleton versus Sean Storey. And it could well come down to the way it, the breaks pan out. Certainly panned out well for Sean in the first match. And he's going to get first opportunity off the dry break from Callum here in the group final. And yeah, nice one as well. Yeah. First shot. And yeah, thanks for joining us, John. It's uh, That's right. obviously it's fresh off the match you've just played, but yep. a frustrating one. Um, yeah, definitely. So obviously two golden breaks early were a bit of a killer. And uh, I just sort of had to sit there really and not get many chances. And... It wasn't the easiest of watches. I didn't feel like Sean was always in perfect control of his pattern, so sometimes it can be a little bit <laughs> hard to watch, but, but he played well when he took his chances, so that's all that matters. Doesn't that at times sum up uh, Sean? You know, he he can play, his patterns can look a little bit looser than other, other patterns, but he has, you know, these clear ways of going about finishes. Yeah, he just finds a way, doesn't he, Sean? I always say he does it. Uh, Sean always finds a way. And, uh, you know, is a, sometimes you have to be on the end of it, you know, and then wait wait for your next chance to play him again to try and um, give some back. But, uh, yeah, no, he took every chance. And I say I didn't really make many mistakes. And the breaks didn't go great for me. So, you know, not a lot I can do. Just sit there and uh, shake his hand at the end. Yeah, the frustrations of being a pool player, I guess it's one of those that, you know, that can happen. And it's onwards and upwards next tournament. Yeah, definitely. As expected, Sean is flying through this visit. Yeah. Nothing in the way at all at the start. This is like the perfect start for your opponent breaking dry, leaving you balls like these to go up. It's just got. He might. Don't know if you dig into screw, mate. It's going close to the red, so he doesn't really want to bring red into play. So he might try and stun off the cushion, put it wide and stun off the cushion, or screw straight back and try and nip it. Yeah, he's nipped it. Like all the reds have just split to the side, haven't they? And left the uh, yellows open to pot, and Sean's took them out. Yeah, excellent reverse clearance to start for Sean Story, continuing where he left off in his previous match. And but that, oh, here we go, another yeah. golden break for Sean Story. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. Eight ball flying. He is hitting this cut break incredibly hard. It's just, well, the black's gone to the side cushion, kicked in the middle. It's and he's yeah. continuing with the hand of apology before the celebration. But he starts off the group final the same way he started off his first match. Sorry if I don't cheer, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've got the wrong person in the commentary yeah. box for this moment. But yeah, Your chair legs are going in. Yeah. <laughs> There's no level of skill to where the blacks go in. So he's still, you know, he's still very luck reliant. Um, Callum's gone to the cut break. I think sometimes the table may just play better under a break on different days. You know, they could be, you know, because you're hitting the ball so hard, it only takes a fra something slightly to be different for the, you know, like the front break can not work so as good as the cut break. And I mean, Sean's got a good front break as well. And obviously with the golden breaking effect, he's going he's gonna to be cut breaking all day um, to try and get that, to get that eight ball in. And so far, it's uh, definitely worked out for him. Yeah, it's finding out the what's working for you on the on the day in the conditions. Callum's decided not to go. Successful break for him, but no finish available. Yeah, that'd be a bit frustrating for Callum. He would have, uh, after the golden break, would like to, like to have got a chance. But the split was okay. He just didn't have a first shot, did he? Good control, though, not yeah. to try and kind of push the boat out in frustration with what's happened in the first four or five minutes of the match. Yeah, you you, you kind of wait till you're four, four or five down, don't you, with the, the clock going against you to to push it. Sean's left him a little teaser in the middle, but... Yeah, it's still very early in the match, isn't it? Race to seven, still 36 minutes to go, so plenty of time for Callum to get into this one. If, if he's tempted to take it, though, he's got not a bad layout from, from that shot, but I think he's... Uh, Looking at he's yeah, he's not going to be uh, drawn into that from Sean. 
Do you think you'd take it if... Oh, that's not a good shot, though. I'm not... Yeah, I mean... He must not like the reds completely, because... Yeah. Red, red's and pad is quite a nice pattern. Even the top red on top cushion, if you leave yourself an angle, you can slide in between the yellows and black and get the black in the top left as well. If that was your last ball. I think, yeah. I think Sean should be going here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that Callum's kind of dangled the carrot this much to say I can understand him leaving in the one in the middle and say go on then if you fancy that one but this is wide open get on your, your awkward ball early yeah I don't know what sort of angle he's got on this he might not sure if he'd even be tempted to go down the table even up the table sorry I think the angle the cue ball's going towards the red he could just kick, kick the red on, could it? Or, you know, it's going to be a... Needs a good angle on this, this shot. Well, this time he's got the perfect yeah. angle. He's straight enough just to drop it in. He does need to uh, pick the gap to get back through towards the right-hand side. Anywhere yeah, he's got near the right-hand side. He just stuns this dead. He's coming back between the two yellows off the red, red down the left-hand rail. Then he just doesn't want to land. Oh, he's moved the yellow. I didn't think he needed to, but... Nice to open up the gap more, though. Yeah, it's a bigger, bigger margin for Aaron. Just doesn't want to land straight on this. He, as long as he's off straight, either way, he's a, he can get a nice angle on the last red. Would you be worried if you ended up a touch too straight on the one on the top and had to take the eight ball long, or does that feel like a comfortable um, shot in these conditions? Yeah, you you wouldn't mind it. I mean... Uh, oh, it's not going to reach. Yeah, cut it, yeah, the only thing I'd s on this table... Uh, you know, it shouldn't really matter which table you're on, but on this table, you could take that long. You'd feel more comfortable taking it long, definitely. Whereas on a, a say, maybe an outer table at series, you'd definitely be trying to get that top top left or the double. It's not a bad position for a double into the right centre, but this is a nice nice chance for Callum here. It's, a, it's not bad for a skill shot, that red. I don't know if he'll do it direct or off off a pot. But he's got the loss of turn, he can just... Is, dolly the yellow in. Is the loss of turn the better option? Yeah, I think it probably is, but it's just the cue ball. I'm very wary of leaving Sean any sort of a <laughs> shot on a on a table, to be honest. Yeah, keep, him his, keep him in his seat, that's the best place for him. Especially the red is in the side of the pocket as well, so it is yeah. just a loss of turn. And he hasn't yeah, quite got the cue ball right. hidden, so there is a shot on here for Sean. Callum will be really disappointed. Yeah, that's, he sort of gives that away without any real... I'm, su I'm yeah. surprised that Callum didn't try and get closer to his work with the yeah. first shot to make then the, the loss of turn more controllable. Yeah, the, where the two yellows are, he could definitely have used one of the yellows to hide behind, couldn't he? And even if he had to cut a pot a couple of balls to get closer, it, it still would have been the shot, I think. With the yellow over the... Um, you'd have the yellow over the bottom left. I mean, now, now Sean's got no angle though. Yeah, the one good, I was about to say, the one good thing that's happened for Callum is that he has covered the bottom left hand oh, corner he's for the eight ball. the pocket. <laughs> the old, old, old school covering clever pocket. Lad, yeah. But Sean is still going to have a, yeah. some sort of shot at the eight ball here. He just had a quick look at the cross double. He is one of the best shot makers in the game. Yeah, he should be getting very close to this. The cue ball. The only thing else the cue ball could do is possibly pop the yellow over the bottom le bottom left and track towards uh, the right centre. So there is maybe it depends how hard he hits it. I, d I don't think he's going to be hitting it hard enough to, to get that. But and even the cue ball could possibly sneak past the yellow bottom bottom left as well if it flicks off the yellow just slightly out from the pocket. Oh yeah, I thought we could sneak in there now. In it sails. Excellent from yeah. Sean's story. Given two opportunities, but he takes them. Yeah, that's going to hurt Callum, that one. That's when Sean missed the opportunity. You've got to be getting that frame from there. Yeah, those are the frames you have to win. And that's what he was doing so successfully against Craig Lakin. Well, no danger of the eight ball this time, but other balls flying in and he gets himself an opportunity, although it's not a great layout at first glance. Yeah, I think this is what um, people who cut break, not always, but they, you get a lot of cut breaks that do go back to the front break because when it's not going so well, you get messy balls and often to the side of the table. Um, I think it happened in our game at one point with Sean and say the same there. He's got a nice shot though to break out, so... 
if he's on a ball, then these are quite nice now. Yeah, they do look very nice. Yeah, even the one that's gone up into the top half and between two yeah, yellows is actually in a perfect place now. The, it's the last three balls, the two reds and black take care of themselves. He just, he could even drop the red to the right centre in third from last and it wouldn't be too bad either. If he takes the one down to the bottom left now, that, that feels like the, the main hope here for Callum. Yeah. Always look simple on the screen, but these yeah, aren't as easy pots as they, they look. Yeah. It's just a cue ball here, holding, hold, if he holds a cue ball nicely, then it's, yeah, it's just use the pocket a little bit there, but that's all right. Use the pocket, use the yellow. That's come out nicely for him. No, these are. He's had a, I think he had a quick look to see if the red that he's nearest to goes to the left centre, because that might help yeah. him. He, just, he just would want to get close to the red. To If he's going to play the red right centre, he will want to get quite close to it. Just because it would be quite tight from the angle. Or he could go above it and play it down the line. Oh, he's, oh, he's got enough. <laughs> Big mistake from yeah. Sean Storey. He hit that quite hard and the cue ball just slid before the before the spin spin got to grip on the, on the cloth. And well, this is a great chance for Callum now. It has to take it. Yeah, and he absolutely needed it at this time. That was an opportunity for 4-0 that Sean had. And once he played the first shot, you, you kind of almost expected him to get out because everything was there. Wasn't able to pick the pick the pattern. Yeah, I think Callum's confidence may be not quite there at the minute because he's second-guessing this a bit. I think f does this tell us that he know we're, we're, we're in a commentary box and we're saying this is a big moment in the match? Yeah. He, he pro must feel it and sense it himself. I think he's slightly trying to find a problem here. You can get it in your head where you're looking for the problem rather than just get, just getting down and uh, plopping him in. He's trying to just make sure the pattern he chooses is 100%. And sometimes when the ball's like that, you can just get down, pot a few, start down the table, work your way up, and you know you're always going to be on a shot. But he just wants to be 100% in the shots he's playing. It does look like he's picked a really nice pattern here. Yeah, this is good. This is probably the trickiest shot of the clearance. The only thing I don't like is the red near the black spot, possibly. It could, depending on how he comes down the table, could play a factor in this uh, clearance. Yeah. See which way he plays this it's, one. It's got to get not... I think you just dropped this in. Did you try to get on in the middle or did you just try to leave it long? Well, when I saw him pick this route, I always thought he was going to take it long so that yeah. everything's natural. But if he does um, play for it long, he has to be fairly straight on it. Otherwise, yeah. the one at the bottom becomes a problem. Yeah, I think the nice fit. Is that this? Yeah. yeah, that's not ideal. Yeah. He's gone for it in the middle, but the margin of error coming down that narrow was very, very small. Yeah, I think if he just dropped that dead weight, the yellow, he would have been on it nicely into the bottom left and then you've got a bigger margin for error getting onto your last yellow. I don't know how straight he is. He's not got a nicest of angles. Can he snip the snip the yellow into bottom right first? If he was going to come down, I don't, I don't think I ever liked playing for this in the middle. I would have preferred to play for the one at the bottom going yeah. on the, the line he actually had. Could have gone further and played on the one at the bottom and then you've got more margin yeah. again. He's all right there. He could just concentrate totally on the pot here. Yeah. I think he's if he pots it clean, he just misses the red, and he possibly will come back up for it in the middle. Or if he's dead weight, he'll be have it in a corner. So gets the pot, he's on the black. He played that well. In fact, that's a nice way he's played that. Just a bit of confidence. Just taking his time. Just worried about the cue ball here. The pots are given, but it's just. He's going long because going of the long. cue ball. Oh, it rattled, yeah. but in it went. No, I think um, our fan dad's possibly one of them. You'd think that he would have been, you know, more prominent, but he's had some real tough draws in his uh, in his series, and uh, you know, no matter how well you play, sometimes you can just have to sit there. Yeah, yeah. you just have to be ready to win when it's your yeah. your turn. Well, Callum's break continues to not fire. It's definitely the big storyline for me from these two guys for their first two matches. Sean's break just looks dangerous. I mean, three golden breaks, of course, but yeah, Callum may have had one, but it's not very consistent right now. 
He's not hitting it anywhere near as much power as Sean as well. Yeah, definitely. He's just he's, on that one. He just caught the ball a bit thin, didn't he? That second ball. Hopefully the break box comes in soon. So, <laughs> <laughs> as you're one of the, the main uh, main voices in the in the front break. Yeah, I like. Uh, it's nice to see a bit of change yeah. every now and then as well, isn't it? <laughs> I, I like the variety. You know that. Well, you can cut break from the break box if you like. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> good, good luck. <laughs> then we we'll see some real skill. <laughs> There'll be cameras yeah. being broken. <laughs> Have to, might, yeah, might have to put some uh, perspex up around the front row. <laughs> you heard Sean talking about his cup break in the studio and, and he was practicing it before the Pairs Cup final. He was trying to find that breaking point in terms of how hard could he hit it without jumping it off the table, uh, which is dangerous considering that the, uh, <laughs> the practice area here is um, <laughs> it's surrounded by glass. <laughs> But uh, it just shows you how he, you know, his thinking of the cut break is how hard can you hit it and keep the ball on the table. Yeah, another good cut break is uh, Cameron Tolley, actually, just uh, turned pro. And uh, we've got quite a funny story. I practiced with him once and uh, he was really struggling to get the white on the table where, where I practice. And uh, so it was before a, a tournament anyway. And... Uh, so I, I kept sort of taking the mic out and saying, oh, well, I'll bring my, I'll bring my wicketkeeper gloves out <laughs> to catch yeah. the ball. And I'm playing on one of the other tables in the, in the, in the club here. And there's a cue ball come across to hit my foot, right foot. And I've picked the cue ball up. And lo and behold, he's walking across the club to pick <laughs> up the white ball. <laughs> I'm like, I just, we both started just bursting, bursting uh, in laughter. And uh, it was just, trust it to be you. <laughs> typical. We've yeah, all, it was brilliant. We will see Cameron. He did qualify through the qualifying stages. We'll see him against Chris Day tomorrow. Yeah, he's definitely a, he's another very good cut breaker, unfortunately. I did uh, have to borrow from the club for <laughs> cut breaking, so I haven't seen him for a little while now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tricky little shot here Sean's got to play. Is, it's one of them, can you hold the white or has he got to play a cannon? Yeah, if he, it's hard to play on the one and play the red in the middle and, and have a clean route through to the eight ball. Yeah, can he just kill it, pull it and kill it? That's, he's tried it. And that's gone too far. Yeah. So now he's got a real shot to play. I think on them shots, you need to just like really slowly push, your, like a drag push, you let your cue just push through the cue ball and it'll just kill it. It's a, such a touchy little shot, especially on this table. It's worth yeah pointing out how responsive and reactive this yeah. table is compared to you know, the clubs yeah. most people would be used to, pl the tables most people used to playing yeah. on. Yeah, the spin stays on the cue ball so long in the shot. So we can still get on the eight ball into the left centre. He's played that well. This cue is going to be close, isn't it? This is where you really need to know your naturals. He's going to try and. This is going to be how he pots the black here for the cube. I think he's going to try and pot it thin to miss the enough. We'll try and pot it thick to miss the enough. Try to pot it thick. Yeah. Well worked out in the end from Sean Story. 4-1 ahead now. Simon's loving his cut breaking. Oh, this is just so painful for me seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm fighting through. Good job of holding hands. <laughs> Eight ball again. Oh. Dangerous good, once again. But look break, at this for yeah. a break. He's nearly hitting the, the top two balls together, isn't he? He's, so, he's hitting that top one so thick. Looks like he's nearly hitting them together. And that's the key, trying to hit that second ball down as full as you possibly can. Our well, first glance was this is a, a tap-in layout. It, it's not quite that. There is a little bit of work. It's a little bit congested around yeah. the eight ball. You'd, you'd like reds, really. Uh, he's got to take a tougher red on, which he's going to do. Yell yellows aren't bad, though. I'm Bit surprised he isn't just taking the yellow song. He opens the black out now, he's not come through enough though. He's not happy because he wanted to be low on the red so that he could bump the yellow out of the way to give access to the eight ball. Now that hasn't happened, the eight ball could become a problem. He's now got to re plot his route here. Could leave the red where it is and come back for that one because that's his way of de dealing with the eight ball. So 
It's not the next shot, it's the one after that's key. He needs to transition all the way to the bottom of the table from the top. Yeah, he's got him much. Will he screw across to the cushion and back or just try and judge it? No, he's trying to judge it. Plenty of angle. Yeah, he's nice there. It's a good bounce off the cushion, yeah. It's doesn't want to go too far though. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, almost ball in hand, perfect. Yeah. Notice that when as Sean was playing, he actually had a lot of shots where he could have landed when the white ball's travelling, he could have landed awkward, but just always seemed to land perfect, which on some days it just does. And that's that's the same again there. If that rolls another two, three inches, he's got to play a tougher shot. Yeah, the, w the worst way he could be is to be long. Yeah. If you leave that high, you've got much more control on That's it. That's right, yeah. Does it go in the other middle? From the overhead, it looks like he's gone a, a roll further than he wanted. But I don't know if he could top through to the cushion, pop the black in the other middle, or is just I think going into the black slightly. More angle there than you think, I think, because he's still looking at the cannon into the yellow. Yeah. Careful, because he could top into the black and just land sitting on the black here. Yeah. Well, you sort of want to punch it slightly to punch you out of the way and not have too much top on the cue ball. Yeah, like that. Yeah, beautiful shot. Well, that stretches his lead. You, you need your chances. No, he's gone back to the front ball. Oh. And he crunched them as well. Absolutely crunched them. Gets kicked into the corner pocket. I'm not sure the cue ball was close, I think. Well, it was close yeah. enough to be kicked in, but it still feels very, very yeah, unfortunate. Harsh, yeah. That's why you don't cut a uh, front wall break, John. Yeah, that's it, mate, yeah. <laughs> that was really, Sorry. really tough, that was. And the way that Sean's playing right now, Callum will fear the worst. Sean only needs two frames. Callum may not get back to the table, but there is a huge amount of work in this frame, so much so that Sean's not even taken them on. If Callum's got a first shot here on Yellows, or might just uh, find somewhere to try and hide the cue ball, knock it past the Reds. It's left Sean a little, little chance here. Yeah, last time he dangled the carrot, Sean took it on. Right. Excellent shot from Sean. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's worth going for them because he's Callum. He's, I, sh he, I fancy him to get out of this, and is Sean going to be in a better position? He would have been. He could have broke all his balls out there. Yeah, I suppose that's the thing with with he, international eight ball rules. You you're not going to get that. Even if you've got cue ball in hand, you can't deal with the eight balls. You're yeah. going to have to deal with that off your own back if you want to make the clearance anyway. So, does it get any better than the previous one? Yeah, that's right. Unless he was. Yeah, I mean, it's because I've landed a bit awkward, I suppose it's easier saying that, but I think sometimes you know you've got to play the um, two points. Two yeah. points, then off. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a little bit of billiards <laughs> for Sean there. Well, now, how tempted is Callum? Yeah. It depends on that yellow on the uh, by the eight ball. Looks like it has to be broken out, which means he has to play it yeah, from he, a cannon first shot. He wants to clear the, the top of the table first, doesn't he? But I don't think he can. No, which means he needs He's two or three be, very good positional yeah, shots. Definitely. I mean, he could, what he could do is pop the two yellows, leave an angle on the, the top yellow. If he can leave himself low on the top yellow to come down and break the yellow and black out. And then, um, is he going to top through? Oh no, he's, oh, he's not left himself a nice angle. If he could have topped through, landed level with the yellow to the bottom right, come down, broke the yellow and black up and still been on the other yellow. That may be, may be able to come through the gap and still play that. Yeah. Through the gap yeah, where his hand across, is. Yeah. yeah. I think I would have... Uh, he has it. He's going to play it off the bottom. Yeah, that's good. He's got your shot now. Yeah, I think it's maybe just... I would have preferred it the other way, just as a natural into it. You can control the cannon a bit better. If he could hit the, he might. If there's a chance he hits the black here, he could snooker himself. Oh, no. That's, That's a good. brilliant That's shot. Nice. 
Absolutely fantastic. The only problem he has is getting a good angle on the last yellow to get onto the eight ball. If the if the white's where if he leaves the white where the yellow is, he can top off the bottom cushion and back up alongside the black. Oh, he's is he all right? Yeah, I think he's fine. He just moves the the eight ball down a fraction. It's not perfect. You can tell that by his reaction. Yeah, he's, he's, this is. I think screwing it is screwing too close to the black. I'm not sure he's got enough angle to come off the bottom cushion. Yeah, he's going to force it. Good shot. A, that's a shot on this table. It's a lot better than it looks. Still needs to be potted, but excellent visit thus far. An excellent visit completed. Callum Singleton gets another one on the board. But it's a dangerous game sometimes because like, just as easy as Sean's got two or three frames on the board sit with Callum sitting down it can happen back to him and he can be thinking oh you know I should have gone for the game back back then oh he's going for the cut break eight ball flying again but Wait. nothing else is dropping that wasn't as good a hit and contact as he has done momentum potentially changing I think in our match I just ended up watching the black ball and Sean was breaking to be honest, I didn't watch any of the balls. That's all I was watching, That's all to I was honest. watching, yeah, just seeing where the black goes. So, um... oh, There's a good chance here. It depends on the access to the red top of the table, but actually when you start scanning the whole table, it's not a good chance. Well, it, reds are awkward. The two reds near the, near the left centre can use to, to move the uh, red at top, top left, and I think that red may go off the other red into the top right as well. Oh, he's looking loss of turn. Straight loss of turn. Get the yeah. get the better colour set. Yeah. He's still got plenty of time, so that isn't too bad. It's good to see. I think a lot of players don't see those sort of those sort of shots. They come to the table and try, and they they start seeing those aggressive ways of right. Yeah. Okay, I've got the problem here, problem there. I'll deal with this one, and I'll deal. But I yeah, that's how you de that's how he's dealt with the problem. He now has a much better colour colour yeah, set. I think he could have played a better cue ball though. He could have uh, topped through a bit and left Sean a few less options. Yeah, that was the well put because that if he'd gone through another what six inches higher, yeah. Sean doesn't really have that shot he's just played and yeah. makes a world of difference. And even with the two years at the top of the table, Callum part part of him would have wanted Sean to be playing them just to break his red out so I don't know if he's if he's on the plant he's going to flick off this is he Finn yeah so this isn't there I'm not sure what Sean can play here to not leave Callum a shot on can he feather off the yellow? And yeah, sort get of right behind yeah, it. Sandwich it to the top cushion. If there's enough room, he might use the other yellow to do that, possibly. He's just, he doesn't want to break Callum's red away. If he can move the top red away, that'd be quite good because that's... Oh, he's played a beautiful cue ball here. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a great shot. That's fantastic. There's room to get by there. And he took a risk as well. He was thinking that the yellow he was playing would go and mess the, the red at the top up and make yeah. it bad, but it actually opened it up. Yeah. But he got the cue ball side of that shot perfectly. Yeah, and I think this, this does stem from when Callum's played the loss of turn. He's yep. just not played a good enough cue ball. And the other thing that's happened with Sean's shot at the top, he was trying to keep it tight, but he's actually opened up the yellows as well as the red. Yeah. So the, the clearance is on for Sean if Callum... Oh, Callum's going to make one out of the snooker. That changes everything. Yeah, no, it's a good chance for Callum. He's got to go now. Maybe the good fortune he needed. I mean, he was always going to hit a red there. I, was, I think there was a pretty big wall. He would have done well to, to miss him, but... Still needs one yeah. very good shot here. This isn't easy. This is very delicate. Doesn't want to come too close to the red as well, near the belt. Oh, oh that's fantastic. That's really nice. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah, played that really nice. Now he's got control. Plot your route. Let's 
seems to be uh, not rushing, but it, it doesn't need to rush. But I think just maybe as a statement of intent, just you know, show that uh, Sean that your adrenaline's going and you you're going to finish him off quickly if he gets a chance. Anywhere near the middle of the table. Doesn't want to do it. No, he's perfect. Good shot. This has been brilliant from, from Callum. Yeah, huge bit of fortune to make that pot from a snooker. Not been hitting this one very hard. This one a bit firmer. Oh, yeah, he didn't seem to hit that very hard. He's got a red. He's got a red. And he, oh, look at that. He got the eight ball moving as well. But If he's got a first red, he's... Uh, He's getting one behind here if he can get the first red. Oh, the first, nice, was it? First red's horrible. Yeah. Tricky little cutback, which is going into the other red. He's got to go cut back on yellow, isn't he, to left centre? Yellows aren't know. too bad. It would need one really good positional shot. The only, it's just if he plays the yellow to left centre, he could nudge the red on and just tie the other yellow up. So well, if this red goes by, actually, he's... I think the only red he's got is the either the thin cut to the, the right centre, uh, right corner, rather, or the, the one he's next to to the... Yeah. The corner as well, so oh, he's been a bit unlucky there, hasn't he? The way them balls have split, if he can see either suit nicely, but this is just must be careful of the red ball he's nudging into. He's played it well, okay. So, key shot will be coming down the table, he wants to land in between the two at the bottom. And the yellow that he's is to the right of the cube at the moment, it's going to be another, it's going to be a tricky shot as well, get in position. This is a right shot. You can pop both these two, come down the table. Or well, if this goes bottom right, even better. Yeah, I don't like coming down the table now because in case you land straight yeah, no. on your second, on your ball to come back up the table, you don't have a, it's not ideal. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's uh, coming down the table off that one's a better option. Yeah, I would have potted one, the one in the top left and then potted the one to the middle because the one in the middle of the table was a good ball to get on the black you just screw into the two reds and you're on the black he's got to hold this cue ball here he's gone too far yeah was, so now yeah. he's got work I think the, the ball to come down onto them two yellows for me was one over the middle because you can get right in between the two of them but. oh this will be some shot this will be, I mean, God, there is no gap between those no, reds. Without a cannon, I can't see how he's going to... I think he's accepting huge distance. Just wants to see the yellow. Yeah, not trying to get on it, just... Well, he's not going to pop the yellow, so... He would have been on the cut, yeah. but... That's where you, the pattern, if you get the right pattern there, that's actually quite an easy finish, just... I don't think there's any coincidence that that kind of pattern getting away from him happened as we transitioned into 15 seconds a shot. Yeah, yeah you just it, don't have the time, do you? What, what's that like as a, as a player? You know, 15 seconds a shot is one thing, but when you've played the whole match at, at 30, all of a sudden having to sort of... Because you're in a rhythm. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't, really, I don't really agree with the 15 seconds. I feel that we just see so many bad shots, rush shots, miss pots, and that can be good sometimes, but I think maybe the 10 minutes is for me, maybe the last five, possibly, but... I just think it makes people rush and they do they make silly mistakes and you know there's a lot of really good players and you see all of them make silly mistakes and to me I don't like seeing that you know I want to see brilliant brilliant players do brilliant things and so I think it just yeah may, although maybe uh, there's a time and a place to have such a long period of 15 seconds but you know a lot of us do get used to it but you get used to literally not thinking about your shot and I do think sometimes the pool suffers because of it to be honest, but you know, it's it's nice seeing something move quickly. But on the other hand, yeah, and when the when the balls when, when the balls are on, I don't think anybody takes particularly long over clearing up. You know, it's when you've got to think about it, you just need that little bit of time, and uh, you know, it's uh, it can be quite hard. You know, like we see there, if if Callum had 30 seconds on that shot, I think he gets them quite comfortably. Oh, back to the Sean Story cut break. End on a golden. Oh. Not a golden break, but it could be a break clearance. It's a pretty good layout. It's a silver. <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> silver. Yeah. So yellows, yeah, these and are they nice. all go. Yeah, these are so nice. 
even the ones that look awkward aren't actually that awkward. Yeah, they just open each other up, don't they, nicely? Callum would be uh, sitting there thinking this is probably it. That was his, uh, it's such a big difference. It? He, was one, he could have been one frame behind from really being behind in the whole match, you know, quite badly. And uh, he could have just been to within one frame. And it's yeah, the, the difference in the pressure on the, on the Sean Story yeah. break at 5-4 rather than 6-3 is huge. If Sean clears his up, it's going to look 7-3. You're going to think, oh, Sean's won quite easily. But in the end, he ha really hasn't, you know. Well, he's not oh. going to clear him up. So Yeah, that was a bit untidy from Sean. That is Six minutes, 30 seconds for Callum to do something about this. He needs to win three frames, but an opportunity to do the first one here. Yeah, this is a 30-second clearance, this one. If he didn't chalk his cue... <laughs> thought he might have tried a bit harder to get the cue ball to the middle of the table because it's one of them clearances where you can literally have the cue ball in the same place for every single shot and clear up. You could be on all five balls in one, on the same shot. Easy to travel. Oh, hard to have it finish more <laughs> awkward than that. Yeah. But. Just another roll. More or less and he's uh, got a lot easier finish. I think Reddy's next two does go in the middle pocket. But nice delicate thing. little jab in the middle. and Yeah, he's got to play there. Shot hampered, yeah. But I still think Callum should be thinking he can win this match. You know, he's had the chances really to be level, hasn't he? Now, yeah. Sean's breaks just cooled off a little bit. The last two of both. Well, this one was it was more his doing after the break, but mm. certainly the eight balls not been flying oh. in as much. Yeah. Don't oh. snook yourself on the yellow though. Yeah. He's okay. He's, right. <laughs> He's okay. Heart and he mouth time for a second. He didn't even need that. He could have just stunned it in, could he? Had the long black. Okay, he gets back within two. Big moment in the match then. Back to the front ball this time for Callum. He's chopped and changed. Oh. And There's the cue no ball. That right yeah. surviving there. <laughs> it looks bad because it gets yeah. kicked into the corner, but the cue ball was lucky not to go in the corner straight yeah. away. So another disappointing break for Callum. Hasn't worked for him today. You know, as a player, when that cue ball's near that corner pocket, the chance of a ball not kicking it in is very slim. So another opportunity here for Sean Storey to win this match and book his place in the quarterfinals. And this is even easier than the last one, you'd say. Just needs to hold the cue ball here. Oh, he's come down. I don't know if he tried to uh, be a bit tighter with that cue ball there, put it thick and play the uh, red to left centre, then to right centre and drop the other two in. I think he's definitely gone further than planned. Yeah. Well, maybe in playing that shot, the, the red didn't go to, to right centre. Overhead it looked like it did, but he's, he's, yeah, he's probably been a bit fortunate there because... That could have landed off offset on the plant, and that's one of the instances where if you don't have to go into balls, don't go into them, and it's landed nicely, but it could have uh, landed a bit sticky there. Needs to avoid the yellow. Is he going underneath the underneath? It could. Yeah, it's a good bounce. Yeah, very very well controlled shot. Nice. When it could have gone wrong, it comes up with a great positional shot. And two pots away now. I would have been screwing off the right hand cushion there. Yeah. <laughs> Play with all the margin. Yeah. But he is on this eight ball and it is for the match. And in it goes. Oh, Sean go. Story it gets over the line. He takes down Callum Singleton and books his place into the quarterfinals. The BT Ultimate Pool Pro Cup. Been a super morning so far. And Sean Story is our first quarter finalist of the tournament. Stephen James and Jake McCartney with the main man himself. Sean, congratulations. That was Thanks, that was Steve. a really good morning's work, I think you'd, you'd say. You must be really pleased to get through, first of all. 
very pleased. Yeah, I, w I was coming here thinking, obviously the group's quite open, but the, probably everybody in it would fancy getting through. I'm not sure what the, what the bookies had, but I, I probably would have, just because of my couple of seasons, probably would have been slight favourite on paper, but you know, I, I didn't see it that way. I just thought it's going to be two really tough games. You know, the last time I played John, he beat me, and the last time I played Callum, it was in the Players' Championships, and it was kind of 7-6 both sets, was it, or something like that, and went down to the wire. So, um, yeah, really pleased with how I played. A couple of mistakes in that one, but... Uh, you know, given I haven't really been playing much uh, as much as I'd like to, was, you know, really pleased with my performances, how the break was going. You know, it was all good, really. Yeah, it was. It was a super performance, wasn't it, Jake? And when you have two matches back to back, it's almost impossible to play perfect all the way through. It's always impressive, particularly with Sean, how well he responds to maybe making the odd mistake. It, it never seems to phase him. No, correct. And although Sean's been, you know, very consistent all day, I let his break. Uh, has been very good. All day, a couple of golden breaks, obviously, and we all love them. And he's, um, <laughs> three, three. Yeah, three. Um, but his, his general play as well, you know, I thought he was just very solid. It was a couple of mistakes in the final, but overall, you know, I thought, you know, very well deserved. We need to get through this group, and yeah, well done. Well, we'll take a look at some of your handiwork, Sean, because it was a, it was a super performance from yourself, and it obviously. It was I kind of went in at a funny angle as well. I saw it. Oh, well, it's the black's in again. <laughs> I can't, can't believe it. The thrill and the agony there, and the two faces, by the way. But this was a, this was a key shot at the start of the match. This double. I'm, I'm guessing was this the, the plan the whole way through the visit, or was no, it a bit of a rerun? Um, I landed too straight on the other one, so I, you know, I don't mind those sort of doubles. This was a bad shot. I sort of um, didn't quite get the bite on the cue ball and went and off. But this is what we've talked about me. a lot with you, isn't it? It's, it's that mental strength, it's the ability to to maybe have the odd mistake, but just to eliminate it out of your mind and just play your game. From then on, it's it, it's not as easy as you always seem to make it look, or is it difficult well, for you as well? There's certain situations where you don't mind making a mistake. There wasn't really a pattern there, so I, you know, I didn't mind. I kind of, you know, you can forgive yourself when you're thinking, well, now I've got to go, and you know, kind of off the break that was on the cushion. I, I went into them, and and yeah, they all went, but it was kind of very tricky. The, the sort of route there wasn't an obvious route, so um, I was chasing a bit. But I've chased a few today and got most of them. So uh, you, you're going to make the odd mistake when you know you kind of. You know yourself as a player, whether you fancy getting the clearance or not, you know, whether you think, well, I need a few things to go my way to get these, you know, I'm going to have to park the white a few times. We're obviously all looking for a bit of extra margin for error when we're clearing up, and, and if that's there, then it's fine, you just take them out. But you know, there's a couple of situations where I sort of like, you know, I've got to go, but I don't know if I'm going to get them or not. It's going to need some good shots. And from a player's perspective, this is where Jakey's ears all prick up. We want to hear what the conditions are like out there, because obviously you've played more more out there right now than anyone. It was brand new recloth table, fresh for this was event. Was it recloth again, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. about two weeks ago. Yeah, what, 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 what did you make to it out there? Playing nice? Yeah, they're always perfect here, really. Um, yeah, no complaints. I just kind of, you can see it's skiddy, that shot, which I just showed where I went and off. I was expecting the cue ball to kind of get the screw on a bit earlier, if you like, the backspin to take, but it, it just didn't, and that's a you know, testament to how clean the balls are and the new I didn't realise it was a new cloth otherwise I probably would have played a different shot <laughs> it makes sense now you just kind of get a bit of delayed spin on a, on a new cloth and that's what happened there so yeah, you know, I don't normally go enough I think I went enough twice in that match so yeah well uh, best get him out of the way now ahead, ahead of the quarter final <laughs> Jake I want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, we'll keep you in for your, for your analyst role Sean because I know you I know you love this side of the game as well I've got a brilliant group coming up next up will Shane Thompson versus Brian Halcrow winner of that will face the battle between Dylan Leary and Rona McCarthy Shane Thompson and Brian Halker is a really interesting one. It's it's the four-time Pro Series champion versus the official fastest man in eight ball, Brian the Buzzer <laughs> Halker with his 15 second six red shoot. So it's a, it's a fascinating matchup, this one, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The whole group, uh, the whole group is, and Shane's obviously been consistent again you know, this season. Buzz is probably maybe uh, you know a little disappointed with this season, but I know you know when I have a spoke with him off air, he is putting in the time, and I'm sure you know he'll want to get off to a good start of the season. And then the second match, so who was it again? Dylan Leary, yeah. Ronan McCarthy, all well, Northern Irish. Yeah, all Northern Irish, and then all Ronan. What a year he's had. Um, and, you know, Dylan's a great player as well. And another group, I can't pick the winner of that one. But Well, this is what we like. And also, as well, because, because every player has had to win a pretty big match to get themselves into this tournament, you can sort of say that every player in the tournament is sort of on form a little bit, can't we, Sean? We don't necessarily always have that because certain players have different commitments and all the rest of it and different form at different times. But two weeks ago, every single player in this tournament won a big race to ten against a fellow professional. There's, they're in good nick. Yeah, don't remind me. We used to be, we used to be straight through last year. We always knew we were playing in these arena conditions. <laughs> 
things and it was quite odd being back out you know feeling like you're in a qualifier even though you know being lucky enough to be ranked in the top 16 so there was a couple of tweaks with my pool how they did the format but you know as much as it, it didn't benefit me from the original plans the way they've gone now with with everyone having to qualify it, it's the right thing for the tour and it does make a lot of sense so um yeah it, it's good it keeps everyone shut the qualifier was what, a week ago so we just over a week seven or eight days ago um and yeah, everyone's had to win a grueling match out there, so uh, and a long race to ten as well. Proper qualifiers, obviously, with people travelling. So yeah, I think everyone's sharp. Um, I haven't played since then, but but yeah, I'm sure everyone's the same. They've got a little knock, knock before they play and a few days to get into the tournament. Who's your pick for this next group? If I had to put you on the spot, wowzers. Well, I mean, Shane's just come off the back of winning Tour Eight, so if I had to pick pick someone, I mean, any any, I wouldn't be surprised if any one of the four went through. But if I had to put my money on someone, gun to my head, it'd be Shane. Shane to just pip it. Um, Brave man's back against Ronan McCarthy. <laughs> at the minute but I put you on the spot so uh, it should be a cracking group either way gents thanks for joining us Sean we will see you in a couple of days time in the quarterfinals where he will face the winner of our next group